everyone, it's me. I'm back. So it's Shotzi for the Rough Cuts, and I've been gone for a while. I've been traveling a whole lot out of the country, also around the U.S., and like, believe it or not, there are places in the world that do not have internet access, so I haven't been able to update all that much lately. But I'm going to talk about a movie that's coming out next month. That I saw at Fantastic Fest last year and it's from Austria. It's a horror slash kind of a thriller. It's a thriller and it's called Good Night Mommy or Ixe Ixe and this is it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I won't call it outstanding because there are certain aspects in it that have been done before but overall it's not that bad. This was written and directed by the duo of Veronica Franz and Severin Fiala. And this is their first feature length film that they've done. They've done a few shorts in the past as well as a documentary, but this is the first pure feature length film. And it is a film. This was shot on 35mm. Now, if you have watched all of the movies I've talked about on this channel, there will be certain aspects of this particular film that will be very familiar to you. And when watching this, I'd say about a good third of us, <clears throat> losing my voice, I'd say about a good third of us in the audience knew one of the big plot devices within the first five minutes, literally the first five minutes of the movie, we knew what was happening. Other people who hadn't seen the same sorts of films that we have in the past, they were completely surprised when this came about at the end, when it was all revealed. So you might be torn on here where you don't know and it's a complete surprise, or you do know and there's still other things going on. There's a lot going on in this movie. There's still other things going on in this movie that compensate for that part. Now, the premise of this, you've got twin boys, they live in the countryside with their mother, who's an actress, and she's getting on in years, so she has a facelift. Well, it's more than a facelift, she has, like, complete reconstructive surgery. So when she comes home, her face is completely in bandages, and she's acting very distant. She's going through almost a sort of midlife crisis, and the boys... They're kind of, they're a little freaked out by this, of course, like seeing their mother in this state. And it gets to the point to where they no longer believe that that's their mother. And so they try to get rid of her. So in the beginning, there's, I mean, this movie's really into like three parts. Like in the beginning, it's very subtle, like a lot of muted colors. Everything is done in like reflection, like a lot of looking. And it's almost like an art house film. And then you get into the freaky stuff. And that's where it just, it does a complete 180 as to what this movie is and how it goes about things. And if you if you remember the ratings on here, this is not Adam safe. You know, Adam, Unity Freak, he comes on here every now and then. He would freak out. He would lose his mind over this. He wouldn't be able to handle this movie because it gets dark. It gets gruesome. I mean, downright gruesome. There's there's torture. There's animal killing in this. It, it gets really, really twisted. And then the third part, it's just kind of like, what is going on? It's just chaos. So it's, yeah, a lot of people think that that end sort of, like, ruined things, because then it gets a little weird. Like, I know a lot of times over here in the U.S., We'll talk about how something, oh, it's it's just European. It's just foreign. That's kind of how the end of this is, when we're just like, Austrians. Like, like, like a bunch of us have seen that much Austrian cinema. You know, but still, but that was thrown around a whole lot. And so you, you may like it, you may not. But overall, it was it's a pretty good movie, especially for like a, a feature length directorial debut. It's, it's great for, for that. Like, the pacing of this, it's very, very deliberate. Like I said, it's, it's very artsy. Like, if you can go, like, art house in a horror film, this is probably as close as you're going to get to that. 
but it's it's good. It's different from a lot of the horror movies that you see now, but there's nothing particularly brand new about it because, you know, like I said before, even on this channel, things that I've talked about in the past, you see those aspects in this particular film. So if you haven't watched a lot of movies, if you haven't seen those movies, then it'll be all really new to you. If you have, it's still, it's still an entertaining movie, as, as entertaining as like torture it can get. It's still an entertaining movie, a pretty solid movie. It has its little bumps here and there, but overall, it's worth a watch if you like horror or thrillers. But like I said, once again, it gets really gruesome. But check it out anyway. And that is Good Night Mommy, Ixay Ixay, coming out in theaters, I think in just limited release. Also video on demand next month on September 11th. Until next time, I hope you have, I hope you have a great week. Bye.